So Outlook Express, when you first open it and get it set up, always has a two-pane existence, meaning that you have one window pane here that shows you your list of messages, and then a smaller pane down below, where if I click on a message, I preview the message down below. In Outlook Express, when you click on an email, it automatically opens down below. And when you open it, it's already, if it has a virus or spyware or something you don't want to see, it's already there. You have to look at it unless you knock out this preview pane. This preview pane can be toggled on and off if you create a preview button on your toolbar. And the way you can do that, and again, this works for all versions of Outlook Express from Windows 95 through Windows Vista. To create this button, all we do is click View from the menus, click Layout, click Customize Toolbar. When the Customize Toolbar comes up, scroll down the left-hand side and look for the Preview button. And then just simply click the Add button here, click Close, click OK and now I have a preview button. Now when I click the preview button, watch what happens to the preview pane here. I, I can toggle it off or I can click it and I can toggle it back on. Very simple method. So once I select a message, if the preview pane is off, it does not open and therefore I can delete it straight away without having to open and look at that message. So it makes going through your spam and unwanted messages much, much quicker and you're not being distracted by having the preview pane on and therefore potentially opening yourself up to something you either don't want to see or even worse yet if your computer is not protected properly into viruses and or spyware. So create the preview button, very simple to do. One other button I do want to quickly point out that's a nice toggle as well is the folder list button. The folder list in Outlook Express can be opened very quickly by clicking the inbox option here and then using the push pin to pin it to Outlook Express and then you can have your view of your folders. Then if you click the X it disappears quite readily. But in using the same kind of technique as we did with the preview button I can click view layout customize toolbar again scroll through the list of available buttons find my folder list button and add it to my toolbar as well and now I have just a, a maybe a little more simple a little more direct way to toggle the folders on and off